the Baltimore Ravens continue to add to their defensive line, signing former Ram Michael Brockers to a contract to come in there alongside Calais Campbell and Brandon Williams and form perhaps the best interior trio in the NFL. A dominant interior trio. Michael Brockers going from playing with Aaron Donald to now playing with Calais Campbell and Brandon Williams. That's going to be a dominant force. And the Ravens, they're going to be a dominant force defensively. Before I break down this signing by the Baltimore Ravens, make sure you do Gronk Spike the like button. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Bottom Line View for more NFL free agency reactions just like this. I also want to hear your opinion. What do you think of this signing? The Ravens signing defensive lineman Michael Brockers. Brockers was ranked 23rd by PFF in terms of interior defensive lineman last season. He's a dominant interior force. Now, is he a pass rusher in the pass rush mold? Not really. Not so much. He's more of a all-around interior defensive player. Very, very good versus the run. And I think that was one of the underrated elements of the weaknesses for the Baltimore Ravens. A big reason they lost to the Titans is because their weakness defensively was stopping the run. And we've seen that they have completely revamped that interior defensive line. Harbaugh, DaCosta, they're not going to go another season being bad versus the run. They're not going to go another season with people running down their throats because that's really a huge reason why they lost that game in the divisional round to the Tennessee Titans. Michael Brocker is a three-year deal worth $30 million that includes 21 guaranteed. It's a solid deal. Brockers is another veteran player, just like what they brought in with Calais Campbell, who's going to be there for the next two to three seasons and is going to help them compete for a Super Bowl championship. And that's the exact type of players that the Ravens are looking for. They're not going to go after the upper echelon type of player. If they can get a veteran that's still playing at a high level, just the way that Michael Brockers and Calais Campbell are playing, they're going to trade or sign that guy. And Brockers, $10 million per year. Not bad considering some of the other players getting about that same amount of money. Now, when looking at the defensive line, the interior defensive line, I brought it up. Brandon Williams, Calais Campbell, and Michael Brockers. That might be the best in the league right there. I think it is the best interior trio in the league. Now that Hargrave has left the Steelers, I feel like it's pretty confident to say that. My question is, who plays nose tackle? Because Michael Pierce is likely going to be gone. Now that you've signed Michael Brockers, you've basically spent the money on him. And in comparing the two players, Brockers is more of an end type as opposed to Pierce is more of a nose tackle type in your defense. Brockers is the better pass rusher of the two. Pierce is more of the big bodied guy. And I think that they were a little bit disappointed with Chris Wormley last season. Didn't play up to expectations. Justin Ellis, those guys, Justin Ellis is also a free agent on the defensive line, same as Pecco. So they can maneuver these players around and they have more flexibility, I think, with a Michael Brockers in their defense than they do with a Michael Pierce in their defense. When taking a look at where Brockers rank from a PFF perspective, as I brought up, he ranked 23rd. Now, his run defense grade was very high. It was ranked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th in the NFL. But his pass rush grade was actually pretty bad. I mean, he only had a 57 pass rush grade as opposed to a run run defense grade of 82.6. So when taking a look at his run his pass rush grade, it wasn't very good. And he's really not known for that, but I would say he's an upgrade in that department over Michael Pierce, who really is just a big bodied guy who can stop the run. Brockers, what he does do well in pass rush is he does push the pocket. But at this point in his career, he is more known for stopping the run. So I think the Ravens really wanted to get that down. They really wanted to add the beef and upgrade their interior line so that they didn't have to go after the big edge defenders. And I've think Michael Lombardi put it best. These moves about the interior defensive line, people underestimate them still in the NFL today. This is about pushing the pocket and forcing quarterbacks to make a move outside the pocket so then you can collapse the pocket. 
If you have interior pressure, it's a lot easier to disrupt quarterbacks. If you have edge pressure, but you don't have good interior pressure, quarterbacks can still s step up in the pocket. They can still maneuver around and escape the pocket. So for me, I think interior pressure is the way to go. And signing these interior guys like Campbell and Brockers, I think are smart for the Ravens because they're not going to throw big money at an edge rusher then you can kind of do what you do defensively, have those interior guys, and send some blitzes on the odd occasion with those hybrid linebacker, outside linebacker types. I think Brockers is going to bring a mean, tough, veteran interior defensive lineman to this defense and give you the best interior trio in football today. Michael Brockers to the Baltimore Ravens. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you just in the middle? It's Mitch of the Bottom Line View, Brockers, Ravens. I can't wait to watch this defense play. Peace.